Fuck, I hate this. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Cinco de Mayo is coming up, and that means you're probably craving a margarita and some guacamole. Well, conveniently, I can help you with at least one of those things. Today, I'm gonna to show you not only how to make a margarita, but I'm gonna show you how to make a big batch margarita for a crowd so you can measure once and drink all day. Well, hello friends, I'm Erin from The Wine Sisters. Welcome to our YouTube channel where every week we show you how to eat, drink, and entertain like a pro. Today I'm gonna to be talking about margaritas because Cinco de Mayo is coming up and your Instagram feed and your YouTube feed and every other possible feed that you have is going to be flooded with margaritas and guacamole. But guys, I have a recipe for a big batch margarita or a pitcher of margaritas that will allow you to get out from behind the bar and join in the festivities with everyone else. And it's easy, easy, easy. The hardest thing about it is actually squeezing the lime juice because it does have to be freshly squeezed, but if you have have an electric one, it goes by pretty quickly. So if that's the biggest stress, ah, no big deal. All right, so into a pitcher. And you'll notice this pitcher is not filled with ice. We don't want to dilute our margarita. We will be pouring them into glasses with ice. So look how easy this is. It's simply a matter of math. Into our pitcher, I'm going to put in a cup of freshly squeezed lime juice right into it. I'm going to add in a three quarters of a cup of simple syrup. Later, we're gonna be adding in some orange liqueur and that's already sweet, so I don't want it to be over the top in terms of sweetness. So this is three quarters of a cup of simple syrup and in it goes. I'm going to add in one cup of orange flavored liqueur. This can be whatever your preference is. In it goes. It's looking festive already. And then the coup de gras two cups of Blanco tequila, and it can be your favorite Blanco tequila, whatever you've got on hand. And two cups goes right in there, fill it right up to the top. That's the big girl pour right there. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a stir. If I had had my thinking cap on, I would have got a stir stick, but I didn't, so excuse me, stand by. Pardon me, I'm back. I'm gonna give this a little bit of a stir, but because of the angle of my pitcher, it's gonna be a little weird. So I'm just gonna give it a little stir like that, a little stir like that. Get everything up and running. Ta-ta, so now it's all nice and stirred. So with these measurements, this is probably going to get you about eight servings. If you feel like you're having an even larger party, you could even go bigger than that if you have a pitcher that will sustain it. But this is gonna get you a good eight to 10 servings. Again, you don't wanna put ice in here because you don't want it too diluted. You can now keep this in the fridge until your guests arrive. I'm going to have one right now. Oh, really cute. I also grated in some lemon zest into my salt because I think for the rimmer, it makes it a little bit, a little bit more of a festive rimmer. Who doesn't like a festive rimmer? Okay. So I'm just gonna pour it on in there. So now I've got my margarita and I can go sit outside and celebrate Cinco de Mayo in the most delicious way possible. Cheers, friends. I hope you try this margarita at home. It's delicious. I serve it all the time and people absolutely love it. And I know you will too. If you give it a try, leave us a comment below and let me know what you think. But in the meantime, if you love this video, share it with some of your friends and family so they can get all the margarita goodness going as well. And maybe you actually wanna hit subscribe and that bell so you can be alerted to when we drop a new video every single week. That takes care of another week. I'm gonna go enjoy my margarita out in the sunshine. Have a great one, friends. Stay well and do drink better.